hope rides on the rays of the sun here. So too does the resilience of the people. But in the battle against climate change, will hope and resilience be enough when the lives of those who contribute the least feel the brunt of its effects? For us here in the Caribbean, climate change and its devastating impacts are our new normal. Hope is still the strongest currency in these parts. But a devaluation of life can come if the world sells the people short. With the realities of modern times, forever no longer has the same currency it had a generation ago. A triple OG sitting right beside me This old man, he played fall He played knick-knack on my door Raises a white noise, light up the world Here we go, here we go And I follow the sun, follow the sun Cause it's bright on the other side of my window In Grenada, like in many places in the Caribbean, there are continuing concerns about rising temperatures and the increasing frequency of storms. In growing up as a young girl on the carnage, the changes, I always tell them the major change started with Hurricane Janet, September. September is a very terrible month for Grenada with hurricanes. Eh? Price of progress is always very high. And to me, the whole environmental problem in the Caribbean and in particular in Grenada come with the price of progress. The, the country was devastated, yeah. almost complete devastation in, in some villages. First of all, every village in Dominica, every street, every cranny, every person in Dominica was impacted by the hurricane. We have no running water now, we have no electricity and no um, power. We have uh, very limited now telecommunication services by WhatsApp. All of the telecommunication services down. Private homes have been uh, damaged, um, some beyond any form of repair, all flat on their faces. Many of our schools um, have been uh, destroyed. Our main hospital is with no electricity now. I know myself from since um, this is why I grew up coming here. So I used to come and enjoy myself on the beach and be and eat and drink and enjoy myself and have fun. The, the river never used to meet much with the, um, the sea, but I know I want to get rough. The climate got like changing. People here have created their own way of life, overcoming great challenges over the centuries. They are at one with nature, and nature is at one with them. There are farmers who have irrigation systems, there are farmers who are close to rivers, but there are also farmers who depend solely on rainwater, on rainwater harvesting to, to, to grow their plants. And, I can tell you over the last year or so, and a lot of farmers have not been able to reach their targets in terms of production. They followed the sun and the moon and the stars to maintain their livelihoods. Their culture has evolved dependent on the environment, their lives intertwined with its well-being. We have no choice as a region 
but to pursue climate smart development. Building the region's resilience to climate change, natural hazards, and environmental changes is not only a necessary and urgent development imperative, but is also a fundamental requirement to ensure our basic survival as a people. The problem with climate change is, is getting warmer faster in the temperate regions. And so earlier in the year, like um, February, March, when the birds are still here, they don't know they have to go home yet. But all the things that should be happening when they arrive are happening earlier. So their nesting sites are becoming available. Um, their food sources, especially insects, are blooming. So by the time the birds get back to where they have to go, there's no food for them. Follow the sun. Water fuels life here. Above as below, without adaptation, much is at stake. Maybe the lives here can be the hope and the light the world needs to make a change before it's too late. These impacts are reversing economic growth, exacerbating poverty, and undermining the future prosperity of Caribbean countries. This war was not started on their terms, but one through which they are determined to fight together. But we can't do this alone. This is why we're calling for greater focus, support and action from the international community to get us ahead of this climate crisis. Grenada's National Sustainable Development Plan 2035 seeks to address climate adaptation and vulnerability for sustainable development. Being on the front line in the war against climate change, Caribbean countries are pushed into action and are finding ways to overcome the challenges. We're facing a hurricane, Hurricane Dorian, that one that we've never seen in the history of Bahamas. I just want to say that as a physician, I've been trained to withstand many things, but never anything like this. We preserve, we protect, and we promote. Adaptation done right safeguards our economies and builds a better future for us all. The choice is clear. Delay and pay, or plan and prosper. Hope and resilience may be enough after all. Governments, communities and businesses are working together in this changing reality to adapt and build a stronger Caribbean as the world's first climate smart zone. Investing in adaptation measures is not a cost, it is an opportunity. It is an opportunity to realign our lifestyles and our economies to respect that delicate balance that maintains life on Earth. Accelerating adaptation would enable us to get ahead of the climate crisis and stay there. In Grenada, they're embarking on a bold plan to build the first climate smart city in the Caribbean. If carbon emissions are not capped, if the sea levels and temperatures continue to rise, if we do not act now, all hope will be lost. The time for action is now. The choice is clear. The choice is clear. Adapt our world. With fresh investments in people and infrastructure, with development tied to the sustenance of the environment, with strengthening policies and greater awareness, we can accelerate adaptation and save our world. 
So join us as we adapt our world. The choice is clear. Adapt our world.